Well, hello there, guys. My name is Keir Bobbin, or welcome back to my channel. I'm so, so glad to see you all for joining me on this brand new video. And also, welcome new faces to my channel. Some and previous subscribers have came back to my channel also. So, in this video, I'll be doing another read aloud for you, for you guys. Oh, sure, I've got. I have got Disney Pixar founding Dory. Published by Centrum and Treasure Cove for Story. So, what I tend to do, I'm going to show these pictures when I read by words. So, um, I'd like to thank you for subscribing to my channel and keep I read comments down below. But it takes some time to respond, but I'll always do my best. So, okay, let's get on. My, this video I hope you will enjoy it so sit back relax and enjoy this is Dory Dory is forgetful when Dory was f was young her parents collected shells and uh, made trails for her to follow so she would always find her way home One day, Dory spotted a pretty sh purple shell in the distance. She wasn't allowed to swim that far, but Dory forgot. Dory was just f about to pick up the shell when, whoosh, she was pulled away by co the, the current. Suddenly, Dory was all, was all alone. She couldn't find her way home. Eventually, she forgot what she was looking for. No one was able to help. And then she was she crashed into Merlin. Merlin was far from home too. He was looking for his son Nemo. Ah! Uh, Dory helped Merlin across the ocean and find Nemo. She went to live with her in the coral reef. She finally had a new home. One day, Dory went with Nemo's class on a field trip to see the, steam, the stingray migration. Dory got pulled into the current. When Dory returned to safety, she was flooded with memories of her mum and dad. She remembered where she was from. Dory wanted to go home. With the help of some old friends, Merlin and Nemo joined Dory on her trip across the ocean, all the way to Moro Bay, where she was scooped up and taken away. Dory found herself in a tank inside a Marine Life Institute. This was where she was from. And a cranky septopus, a seven-armed octopus named Hank, greeted Dory and agreed to help each help her find her family. He had three hearts after all. But Dory was tossed into the whole shock pool, which where Dory met, met Destiny. When Destiny heard Dory speak, well, she couldn't believe it. Dory, is that for you? When Dory lived at the Mar Marine Life Institute, Dory and, and Destiny had, had been pals. They used to talk through the pipes they connected the tanks. Destiny knew where Dory had grow, grown up. Where you whale has got really good, Destiny said, thank you. Hank soon joined them. 
Joy told Destiny and her neighbour, Bailey, a Ballager whale, that she was looking for her family. Destiny told Dory to take the pipes to open the ocean exit exhibit. That was where she would would find her family. Dory was worried she would get lost in the pipes. So she found another way. Hank and Dory rolled, swam and swam across the institute to the open ocean exit bit. Dory was sad to say goodbye to Hank. She would miss him, but he wanted to go to Cleveland. He, you will forget me in the heartbeat. Three heartbeats. Now go and find your family, said Hank. Dom asked around for help, but no one knew where her family was. Then she saw something. Dory found her house, but it was empty. Suddenly, Dory was filled with memories. She remembered her mum and dad hurting her. She had to find them. Dory spotted a purple shell in the distance. As she swam towards it, she, she met the crab who took her. If she went through the pipes, she would find her parents. She followed the directions and ended up in the ocean. She was all alone again. Dory worried that she'd never find her way home. Then she spotted another shell and, and another. Dory followed a trail of shells and she found her mum and dad. Dory was home again, surrounded by her family and all of her friends. The end. So, I hope you found my interesting story about a modern classic, Disney Pixar Fund and Dory, a sequel to Fund and Nemo. I really love Disney Pixar films, Fund and Nemo, so much. I think I remember I was a kid. So, we. So you will always remember this year, because Disney has turned 100 years behind the magic of animation studios back in 100 years since 1923. So that's it for all guys and thank you ever so much for, for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it and please stay tuned for a next another read it after video. And also remember to subscribe to my channel to hit this bell notification. And don't miss out future videos. I like to also check out my social media is Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and TikTok. Yep, that'd be really appreciate you guys. Uh, okay, so please stay tuned for another read aloud. So, and then I'll see you guys soon.